If you have any of Sony's NEX cameras, then doing this will totally change your life. So this all basically started when I received this comment on my video about the NEX 5N. I basically got a comment saying that the a firmware update to the camera improved the video quality, which just seeing that from the start sounds pretty awesome. So I hopped on Sony's website and I looked at the firmware updates for the NEX 5N and like, you know, the changes that they made with the different updates. And I was pretty blown away. But before I ever updated it, I ended up selling that camera. But I do have three other NEX cameras right now. I have the NEX 5R right here the NEX 3N, and I also have the NEX VG10 right here. And I looked into my NEX 5R here, looked at the software, and I saw that it was a few versions behind. I don't remember exactly how many, but I basically went ahead and I looked on their website to see what changes they made to the NEX 5R. So if you hop into Sony's website right now, I have three different tabs open. I have one tab about the updates for the 5R, one tab with the NEX 3, and one tab about the VG10 right here. Basically showing what Sony's done to update the software and what they fixed and what they've improved. So let's go ahead and see what you get by updating all three of these cameras. Now I've already updated the NEX 5R, that's already done, and also the NEX 3. One of the previous owners already updated this to the most recent version. But the VG10 here is still on the very first software version, so this one's gonna have some big improvements. So we'll get right into that right now. So if we head over to Sony's website right here, starting out with the Sony NEX 3, the most recent firmware version is version 5, which improves a couple things. First things first, it provides compatibility with the LA EA2 mount adapter for use with an A mount lens, which that's basically the Sony A mount to E mount lens adapter. So that's obviously good if you want to use A mount lenses. It actually looks like that's it. But now if we go down right here, which is what updated in previous versions, so like probably version four and three, and this is where it gets big because if you're still on the very first version that came with the camera, which is very likely a lot of people don't even worry about or bother updating their cameras. So these are where the good things come in right here. So if you are under these versions, if you're on like version one or something, updating this is gonna give you all of these functions right here, including the picture effect, peaking levels, which are really good, especially if you're into filmmaking, that sort of thing, and you use manual focusing, like with vintage lenses. Focus peaking is super huge and it's super nice to have. So it adds that and you can change the color and the level. Uh, adds mini start function, manual focus assist, which basically zooms in on the image to help you get precise focus while you're manually focusing, which is also a huge plus. And all this other stuff you see right here improves menu item selection using the control wheel. So you can use the control wheel to go through the menu. That's really good. Add support for autofocus with supported A mount lenses, which is great if you have the Sony E to A mount adapter. It will allow for autofocus, which I guess it didn't before, which is Kind of weird, I guess it's an old camera. Uh, right here, adds 3D Suite Panorama, improves the panorama function, resolves an issue where the battery may be drained even if the camera's turned off. That's that's pretty major right there. I didn't even see that one before. And reduce the startup time under low light conditions. So all of this stuff right here, if you're below a version like four or three, it's gonna add all this stuff to your camera just by updating the software. It's almost like getting a whole new camera just by updating the firmware version, which only takes like 20 minutes. So it's it's like getting a whole new camera for free right here. So it has all this new stuff, all these abilities just for the Sony NEX3 right here. So now if we head over to the next tab, I got the VG10 update. And this is the one that I still need to update because this is on software version one. And I think it's on software version three right now. So let's go check that out and see what will be improved when I update this camera right here. And also, if you wanna see a video about this camera, stay tuned, it's a pretty awesome camera, especially for the price you can find it at today. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for this video. So right here, this utility updates the VG10 camera to firmware version three. It provides compatibility with LAE2 mount adapter for use lenses. So just like the other one, it allows you to use the E mount to A mount adapter, which is great. And this is also a huge one right here. It adds peaking function in manual focus mode. So that was something that I was kind of confused about at first is that this didn't have focus peaking and it was kind of hard to focus, especially on the small screen. Uh, it was just kind of difficult to focus. So this adds focus peaking, which I was searching the menu for a while trying to find that because I figured it has to have focus peaking. 
you know, if the other cameras, the NEX3 has it, then this has got to have it. I mean, this is a higher end camera than like the NEX3. When I saw that, that really blew my mind right there because that's just gonna add focus peaking, add so much more ability to this camera right here. And it's gonna make me love it even more. That's the main thing right there, adds focus peaking to the VG10. And then right here, benefits provided in previous updates. So either way, not a huge amount right here, but peaking is the biggest one right there. I mean, that's just super important. You really wanna have that if you're doing filmmaking, YouTube videos, or any type of video. You just wanna get precise focus, especially since these older cameras don't have very good autofocus. So focus peaking is gonna be great. All right, so let's head over right now. The NEX 5R, next tab over. This is one I already updated. And let's go check out what this did to my camera and what it helped out with. So, next tab, NEX 5R. So this updates the camera to firmware version 1.03. So, this one actually adds support for fast hybrid autofocus to uh, select E-mount lenses. And actually that includes the 28 to 70, which is the lens I have this on right now. It's actually my kit lens for my a7 III. And that's awesome because this camera has fast hybrid autofocus, but obviously it's only compatible with certain lenses like this one and all the list of lenses shown on here uh, allows for really fast autofocus. Now, in nowadays standards, fast, I don't know if I'd really set that as fast, but it's gonna be faster than it was, which is obviously always an improvement, especially for free just by updating the software. You can check out all these lenses. This is what it's gonna add the fast hybrid autofocus to. And then for these lenses right here, it uh, actually only allows fast hybrid autofocus in the central area of the frames. So that's a little bit limiting still, but it's definitely better than before without this update when it just didn't have autofocus or just wasn't as fast at all. So that's a big plus right there. And if you look down right here, this is provided by previous updates uh, and included in 1.03. So if you're um, even older version than 1.03, then it's gonna add these as well as the stuff down here, which adds the autofocus drive for movies, uh, because before this update, it actually wouldn't autofocus when you start recording. It would just turn right to manual focus. So that's a big thing right there. Odds autofocus for while you're recording, which is super big. And then right here, it uh, provides support for flying fast hybrid autofocus lenses, which are just some different ones that uh, you know, some probably more common ones than the other ones that are updated later on. And that's about it right there. So basically the main thing that updating the software does to all the different NEX cameras is allow for things like focus peaking, which I noticed on all of them, I believe. All the updates look like they improve the focusing, whether it's autofocus or manual focus, which is really important because it doesn't matter what quality of video recording in, if you're not in focus, the video is gonna suck. So that's super important and definitely something to look at and see if you need to update your software. It'll definitely help out a lot with focusing and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to tell what version you have on these cameras. But before we do that, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button and like this video. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so I'd really appreciate it. It really helped me out. So anyways, let's get right into how to tell what software version your camera is to see if you need to be updated. So you're basically gonna go ahead and press the menu button, and then you go right into setup down here. Once you're in the setup, you're gonna scroll almost all the way down and keep going, keep going, right to version so it's gonna be right there displays the camera software version and the lens version so go ahead and click on that and right there nex 5r is version 1.03 and then the lens adapt lens slash mount adapter version 3 uh, don't worry about that as much but right here the body nex 5r version 1.03 so that's definitely where you want to be at right there then obviously whatever nex camera you have just look it up on google just look up nex you know, whatever you have, NEX5, NEX7 software update, and then just make sure you go to Sony's actual website. They'll have uh, the latest version of the software and it'll tell you basically what the latest version is and just compare that to what you see right here. And that's about it. All right, so there we go. After updating the Sony NEX5R right here, I now have autofocus during video recording. I didn't have that before and I was kind of mad about that, but, but now I do, just needed to update the software. So there we go. Also, if you want to see like kind of a tour of my setup here, uh, let me know. I kind of got, you know, stuff all over, new tabletop here for temporary and stuff. Anyway, so let me know about that. But uh, yeah, so autofocus during video, pretty cool. If you want to do that with your NEX5R, go up to your software if it doesn't.
Okay, well, it's not even working right now, anyways. Anyways, all right, back to the uh, a7 III. So there we go, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for other videos, especially the video about the NEX VG10. This is gonna be an awesome camera to review. So stay tuned for that. And also go down and subscribe and like this video and check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.